welcome back to Some Like It Hot. Today is a how-to video on how to make salsa. It's not a salsa review video, but it's a how-to video. So you how to make my salsa. Um, I rated it a 7.9 and hopefully you guys like it. If you like it, hit the like and if you want to subscribe or you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. I release a video like every other day. I have like 30 videos to upload from a year ago, so a lot of stuff coming up. And uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit that little bell thingy down there that reminds you when a video has been posted. All right, we'll see you uh, in a bit here. Let's get this how-to video so started. Things that you need today: you need four red tomatoes, four tomatoes. You need one red onion. You need a bunch of cilantro. You're gonna need some garlic salt. You're gonna need some sugar. You're gonna need uh, some uh, crushed black pepper, and you're going to need some lime juice. And then you're also getting some jalapenos. If you want a little bit of kick, throw some jalapenos, throw some peppers in there. Uh, whatever you think you can handle. All right? Um, so we'll take you through the process of making the salsa and hopefully you enjoy it. All right, let's get this going. Also, I have no training in the culinary arts. So don't chop like I chop. Don't, don't, you don't have to follow my exact instructions because I just uh, figure this stuff out on my own because I'm an adult and that's what adults do. Uh, but I am by no means a culinary expert, as you will see. So good luck making salsa.
Okay. I finished making my salsa. So what I'm gonna do now is taste test it, see if the salt, the sugar, the sweetness, the lime juice, all that stuff is mixed together really well. And if it's where I like it, I'm gonna pop it in the fridge about an hour, let it cool down, and then I'll uh, dig into it later. So here we go, quick taste test, see if this salsa is where I want it to be. I've already reviewed my salsa before, and I've given it a 7.9, and I would still say it's a 7.9. I think the flavor is perfect. The salt, the sweet, the heat, the amount of jalapenos in there, it's just right. So, I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge for a little bit and cool out. We'll see you next time. I hope you like this sauce recipe. It's pretty simple, it's pretty easy. You can't mess up salsa. Well, you could, but it's, it's hard to. So you just do it. Find, find out what you like and uh, get after it, all right? That's it from Some Like It Hot. See you next time. I'm gonna keep posting sauce reviews and have a good day.